Okay. Anyone paying attention earlier? Shout it out. Make a cup of tea. No, we're talking about the army, not the RAF. What would the army do? Right, they would, wouldn't they? They'd send out their reconnaissance vehicle to find where the enemy are, what's the best way of getting at them, how do we advance, will the bridges take our weight? All those things they need to find out first before they put in the attack. And uh, of course, nowadays, some tanks are well over 80 tons. Not every road or bridge is going to take 80 tons. Now, if we look down the field, our reconnaissance vehicle working its way forward. The other thing it can do, of course, is call in artillery fire on the Ruritanians. Let's keep them busy. Don't let them get their heads down. Don't let them relax at all. Keep them off guard. You can do all that just by sensible use of that reconnaissance vehicle. Now, if he ever gets this close in normal combat, something's gone wrong somewhere, because normally he'd be about a mile away. Now the chieftain's working his way round the flank, round the side of the Ruritanians, as they're putting down fire, down range towards our 432. Well, we've got a hit on the Ruritanian tank from our chieftain, and there at the far end, there the 432, it points to where the enemy are, so the guys in the back know when they jump out, that's the direction they need to go in. Why they do that, you can be very disorientated, having driven around in that vehicle for quite some time. So it helps by pointing it to the enemy. And our volunteer infantry, they're putting in what's called a pepper pot or a section attack. One section. But they're a dedicated lot, look, they're coming on. Really hard to get up, by the way, when you go to ground under fire. He's charging the Ruritanian position. Look at them there, that's it, go on, you can do it. Bloodthirsty look, oh, pathetic, look at that. Ruritanians are thrown in the towel already. Well done, our volunteers there. Well done.